Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the long awaited, long asked for eyebrow tutorial. People have been asking me for this eyebrow tutorial for so, so long. So I was actually putting off filming this look because my eyebrows, my natural eyebrows were not where I needed them to be. So they're finally grown out. They're not completely grown up, they're grown out enough to where you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about, um, see what parts you need to fill in. If you guys are struggling with your eyebrows, please, 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 please just, just drop the damn tweezers. Stop. Stop. Don't use the tweezers. Stop doing your own eyebrows. Sometimes um, I do my own and then I end up messing them up or they lose their shape or whatever. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys to grow out your eyebrows and go get them professionally done. If you guys hear a lot of cars driving by, it's because it's so gloomy outside today and I just had to film from my door because all the windows were just like, they weren't doing it for me. So yeah, I have the door open and you guys can probably hear everything and they can probably hear me and it's kind of really awkward, but whatever. So yeah, um, in this tutorial, I did three different eyebrow looks um, that you guys can hopefully learn I did do like my everyday eyebrow look which is very easy very natural and it's very simple and then I slowly built up the amount of product that I um, placed on my eyebrows so that um wait what so yeah the other look is a more dramatic look um it's definitely a lot darker a lot more like on fleek like that kind of really carved out instagram eyebrows so yeah, if you wanted to learn how to get that look then i also teach you how to do that i don't typically wear the super on fleek eyebrow anymore so yeah my eyebrows right now are definitely way too bold because i just have mascara on but yeah hopefully you guys learned something i did use uh three different products i used a pencil i used a pomade and i used a powder so you guys can kind of get a feel of different products as well i didn't you can achieve every look with just one of these products but i wanted to kind of give you guys options and for example the pencil is really affordable pomade and the powder are a little more um expensive or pricey or whatever um they might not be like super like budget friendly for certain people i know that at a certain point i couldn't afford these products so hey i just wanted to give you guys options okay so this is the most natural of all the brow looks it's my favorite it's my go-to i like it because it looks very effortless but still really put together so to start off i use the nyx micro brow pencil and I use this spoolie side of the brush and I begin to brush my hairs upward and out so I can see all the gaps. Then I typically start towards like the center of the brow, creating strokes upwards towards the middle of the brow. And then towards the front, I do upward strokes to mimic hair growth. I like to start at the bottom of the brow so that I can have a good structure to build upon. So I make sure that the bottom is really well drawn on, but I want to also keep in mind that I don't do complete like solid lines. I just keep it going in like strokes so that it mimics hair growth. So towards the tail of the brow, I do the same thing, but I want it to be slightly shaded because I am missing hair there. So you can see sort of in your own eyebrows where the gaps are. Everyone's eyebrows are completely different, so filling in your eyebrows is a very personal thing. But hopefully, by seeing the way I do it, you guys will get an idea on how to do yours. So once you fill it in, you want to go ahead and spoolie your brows out so that the product is distributed evenly throughout your eyebrow. And I like to brush especially in the front. Then I go ahead and take my favorite Morphe brush, the E19, with some concealer. I use the Better Skin by Maybelline. It is my favorite because it has very thin consistency, so it won't get like gunky under your brows or it won't crease up too bad or anything because it is very lightweight. So when I conceal my brows, I like to make a solid line. When I do a natural brow, I only conceal the bottom of my brow because I want the top to look a little bushy and a little more natural but I do like the bottom to look very defined only because I'm a neat freak I like things to look very very neat so I can get away with only concealing the bottom but if you do not want to conceal you don't have to it still looks very pretty regardless but I just have to conceal 
and using the elf flawless concealer brush this is my favorite brush i always talk about it but seriously you guys need to go get some i have like four or five of them i have them in my kit as well it's just a really good fluffy brush to blend out concealer so i usually just blend it all the way down and throw on mascara and then i go ahead and set my brows with the nyx control freak brow gel and I just run this through my brows so that it looks more bushy so that the hairs are defined better. So as you guys can see, now my brows look like they're naturally really full, but they do look very neat at the same time. So that's how I get my natural look. Now onto my dramatic eyebrow. This is the Instagram eyebrow, so I am using the Dip Brow Pomade and the 7V Brush by Anastasia. I usually just take what's on the lid and I... um use that for my brows. So as always, I want to brush my brow hairs up. So when I use a dip brow, I like to start at the top. I don't know why. It's just a habit of mine. I just like to create that shape, that really sharp edge. So yeah, I just create a solid line on the top of my brow and then I go in with a little more product and then I usually just go in and create the tail of my brow and I like to tilt my head so I can see what I'm doing. So now I'm just shading it down a little bit. So here I'm going to go and do the bottom of my brow. So usually I'll just feather in the center of the brow and feather it forward so it's not too harsh in the front. And then I spoolie it up. So now I kind of hold my brush at an upward angle and then I create the solid stroke for the bottom of my brow. So I usually just follow the shape there. If you're you if you are missing brow hairs, you can just kind of imagine how you would want your eyebrow to go. But thankfully, I already have a shape. So now I'm going to go in with more product and I just begin to fill in the brow but I do like to focus on the outer part mostly so I can keep the front a little more bare so it looks more gradient and of course as always you want to brush through your brows so this part is completely optional you could always stop there but I am filling it in, filling it in with a little brow powder I usually take a really dark shade and I fill in only the tail so I can fill in the gaps so this is how you achieve the Instagram eyebrow that all the girls on Instagram are always you know rocking the really bitch eyebrow really high arched really dark eyebrow but like I said it is optional so now I'm just running my brush through it so like I said you don't have to do the powder you could always just conceal after the dip brow and you'll get like what I wear as my medium eyebrow but I do like this eyebrow when I do really dramatic looks. So again, with the same brush and the same concealer, I just begin to conceal my eyebrow. And with this, you do want to take your time. I pretty much mastered doing this, but you just want to practice a lot and make sure not to get on top of the brow product then it's going to be really hard to fix and it's going to look muddy. So yeah, just take your time. I know I made it look like it was really fast, but if you have to do like small strokes when you're doing your concealer, you can, but I don't recommend it because like this is how it looks the neatest when you just kind of just keep your brow on the skin, almost as if you were like writing in cursive. You don't lift your pen off the paper, kind of like that. And this is also the perfect time to clean up mistakes. So as always, you want to make sure to blend out your concealer. Also, please make sure your concealer is your color. If you have to go to Sephora and get match, do so. You don't want to walk around with a concealer that's like 20 shades lighter than your skin. So yeah, guys, that's how I achieve my super bold Instagram eyebrows that everyone wants to learn how to do. God knows why, but yeah. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed, uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which eyebrow is your favorite. Um, if you're all about that on fleek eyebrow, if you're more about the natural eyebrow, I'm all of them. But hey, whatever works for you. So yeah, like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.